The last time Coleraine Football Club played a competitive match was back in the 7th of March, away winners at Ballymena United. This Monday, the Bandsiders are back in action in an Irish Cup semi-final, this time at Windsor Park against Ballymena United. Top player Stephen Larry joins me very shortly, but first, here's Colin McKendry. Colin, Ballymena on Monday. Um, it's great to have local football back and, of course, an Irish Cup semi-final. Fantastic. Uh, it's a great feeling. It's been a long time. Three, four months it is now, so it's going to be difficult. Um, we were in a good role uh, of form whenever we, we broke up momentum. We had momentum now. This is like a final uh, on Monday for us and obviously Ballymena will have everybody back fresh again, so... Yeah, looking forward to it. It's uh, great to have some form of football back when you can actually touch it more or less, you know. And of course, uh, League Cup winners and so close in the league before lockdown. Uh, how proud are you of this, the team this season? Very proud. It's uh, At the start of the year, we knew that uh, the uh, Europa League uh, places were down to three places or the European places were down to three. So for Coleraine to uh, finish second, uh, as the case may be, uh, is massive for a club like this here. It's very, very proud. Very, very proud. Orn has worked uh, uh, minor miracles here, to be honest with you, with a very, very uh, small squad by comparison to some of the other uh, teams in the league. So, But it's going to be difficult going forward. But yeah, I'm very proud of what we've achieved to date. And on that um, European football back at the showgrounds next year, um, how important is it to Coleraine for European um, games being played here? Well, um, European football has become massive. Uh, the finances that come with a European qualification uh, for clubs like Coleraine, provincial clubs, uh, can take you to a different place if you are lucky enough and possible you could go through a round. The finances are quite staggering for a club like ours so yeah it's very important to very very important for our team and on Monday of course uh, no fans allowed in Windsor but there are plans for um, something here at the showgrounds yes um, the uh, committee has uh, set up a, a screen outside here and uh, they've sold some tickets for it at this moment in time. I know they've been dealing with the council over the past few days because of the, obviously we have our own, we have to be socially responsible for anybody we bring here and ensure that social distancing is uh, adhered to. So we we hope that it goes well and uh, hope the weather stays like it is now. And I'm now joined by Stephen Larry, a player here at Corian FC. Uh, Stephen, um, you looking forward to the challenge on Monday? We are. Um, we can't wait. Um, obviously, um, we're a bit disappointed the, the season got cut short, but um, that, no, it's a great opportunity for us. We've been training the last three or four weeks, um, and all the players are uh, in good shape. We're looking forward to it, and um, it'll be a different experience this year with no fans there. But you know, we know they'll be supporting us from home, and. Uh, we hope they can you know, make them happy. And, of course, a big game on Monday, but how have you been coping with lockdown and training? That's been fine, um, to be honest with you. All the players have come back in really good shape. Um, lockdown, from a player's point of view at Korean, we've got a schedule to stick to from the manager, um, and the club's looked after us really, really well. Um, we've obviously secured European football, which is very big for Korean as well. Um, so I think we're going into this game in a really good frame of mind. Um, we're positive about um, the game in terms of we will be the favourites, but we know it's not going to be easy and we're playing against a, a derby rival, so um, they'll, they'll be out to, to get us, obviously. And the, the fans, um, with it being an Irish Cup semi-final, um, how will the fans be missed by the team? Aye, of course, they will be. They've supported us really well this season. Um, Corian always has a really good fan base. Um, um, as players, we're disappointed that uh, they can't be there. And I'm sure that you know, most of them will be got it. They, they can't be there to support us. But at the same time, they can watch it on TV, which is fortunate. Um, and listen, if we can get our name on the trophy, um, it's, it'll still go down in the record books. Um, albeit the fans won't be there. So I'm sure we'll get to celebrate at some point if we do uh, go on and win it. My thanks to Stephen Larry and, of course, club chairman Colin McKendry. And there's only one thing to say. Come on, the bandsiders! For Causeway Coast Radio, I'm Alistair Nicholl.